This is Bill Rice with Velocity Lending and your market update. Um, what we're seeing uh, this week is again, uh, continued sort of exuberance, a rising exuberance in the market. Uh, you're hearing it on all the financial news stations. If you're listening, there's just a general sort of positive attitude towards the market, uh, to the companies that are reporting. We're having strong earnings uh, reports here over the last couple weeks. Uh, so again, people are starting to get confident. The actual investor base is starting to broaden as people again have a positive feeling towards uh, where the stock market's going where the economy is going uh, we have very low interest rates and those continue to persist uh, even with the feds uh, adjustments to rates we're really not moving the rates because we're not seeing any sort of inflation in the market um, and so uh, in general uh, again nice stable broad based market uh, as it affects the mortgage market and mortgage rates uh, because we're not really seeing any major fluctuations our mortgage rate market again is staying relatively flat we're seeing some incremental movements based on some news from day to day uh, but really the overall sort of spread uh, between the highs and lows uh, is is really insignificant and so for about six months we've been riding along pretty flat uh, specifically, if you were to look at the 30-year fixed rate, uh, we're floating around and have been sort of up and down around the 4% mark uh, in general, and that's for basically a no-fee uh, rate. If you go into VA, FHA, or 15-year products, those are bouncing around that 3.5% rate. So um, the good news is if you're making decisions about buying a home or potentially refinancing uh, on the refinancing front, you're probably uh, in that rate zone already if you've refinanced. Uh, in, the, in the near term. However, if you're uh, determining uh, whether or not you might want to do a cash out or leverage some of that equity because housing prices have been rising significantly, uh, much more aggressively than rates themselves, uh, it's a great opportunity to make that decision in a sort of pragmatic, um, logical way. There's no rush to do that, um, but this is a great environment to do it because there's a lot of stability in the rate. Um, and so uh, a lot of opportunity there. Uh, as far as my favorite stock today, uh, I'm selecting Bank of America, uh, BAC. I like this just because I like the overall banking sector for a lot of the reasons that we just talked about. Uh, interest rates will eventually move up, uh, and as a result of those interest rates moving up, uh, the banks are going to start to fatten uh, their bottom line and we're starting to see or have seen those banks strengthen over time. So we've got really strong, healthy banks. Uh, we've got the uh, future opportunity for interest rates to rise significantly. So I like the whole banking sector. Bank of America in particular, I picked today. Uh, it's something I have in my portfolio for uh, quite a while at this point, uh, but they tend to be the laggards in that sector just because of a lot of the problems that they had during the financial crisis as they acquired uh, in Countrywide, which had a lot of uh, toxic sort of mortgage issuance in there, uh, which also brought on some legal challenges. Um, and so all that's been worked out now at Bank of America is as strong as any of these banks. And uh, because they've been depressed by those sort of situations, I think they have the biggest upside. So um, hope you enjoyed our market update. Again, I'm Bill uh, Rice with Velocity Lending, and we'll see you next time.